For prone applications, place the belt as shown with the pelvic belt centered at the split of the table which separates the upper cushion from the lower movable section of the table. Have the patient kneel on the table and physically point to their belly button. Have them lay on the belt so that their navel is centered on the pelvic belt. Palpate to find the patient's iliac crest and ensure the center of the belt is at or slightly above the level of the iliac crest. Complete the abdominal wrap as shown and engage the velcro enclosure. Connect the lower belt clips together with the upper circumferential belt as shown and pull down on the tightening strap until snug. Engage the ring loop retention strap and tighten snugly. Most patients will not require additional thoracic restraint in the prone position. Simply adjust the armrest to the proper height and instruct the patient to hold on to the grab bars as shown. This allows comfort to the scapula and detensioning of the latissimus dorsi. The patient's triceps are comfortably buttressed against the padded caudal surface as well as providing additional thoracic restraint without the breathing difficulty or abdominal compression some patients experience with a wing vest. If using a wing vest as a thoracic restraint, place the wing vest as shown. The wing vest is designed to engage the bottom of the patient's rib cage and be fastened snugly. If using slip stop blocks as a thoracic restraint, simply place the blocks as shown by having the patient roll slightly to one side and then the other. Connect the cable from the decompression head via the D-ring to the round ring on the belt. The final step is to grasp the pretensioning loop and firmly seat the belt which will minimize belt slippage once the treatment begins. Raise the table to its highest elevation with the hand switch elevation button. This ensures a level pull to the patient. To place the patient's lower torso into extension, hyperextension or lumbar flexion, utilize the appropriate switches on the hand controller to create the positioning. There is a level at the base of each side of the table which will assist you in returning the table to a level position. When placing a patient in flexion, it may be appropriate in certain male patients to engage the belt clip which keeps the lower belt loop from creating pressure to the patient from the lower strap when the table is fully flexed. Choose an appropriate KDT protocol and initiate the pull. Always allow the decompression drive to pull through one cycle of peak force and then rest before unlocking the table during the first rest phase. This ensures that all the belt slack is completely removed. After unlocking the table, observe the split of the table between the upper caudal section and the lower movable section of the table. The table should open approximately a quarter of an inch at peak force and close the same amount at rest. The table tension retraction spring is controlled by the hand crank at the base of the table. Fully tensioned, the table exerts approximately 50 to 55 pounds of retraction tension to the table in the patient. A good place to start for most patients is at 40 pounds. You get 2 pounds per turn of the crank in either direction. Fully tension the spring by turning the crank clockwise until it stops, and then turn counterclockwise 5 or 6 turns to arrive at 40 pounds. At peak force, observe the movable split of the table. If the table is not opening, detension the spring counterclockwise until the table opens about a quarter inch. If the table opens too much, 
tension the spring clockwise until the table is only opening a quarter of an inch. To position the patient for prone inversion applications, including unloaded instrument adjusting, have the patient lay on the table as shown with their head closest to the decompression drive. Position the ankle restraint as shown at the Achilles tendon area and gently tighten the restraint. Utilize the hand controller and invert the patient as necessary and begin your adjustment after allowing time for the spine to unload.